we will now demonstrate some of the operations you can do with Emacs in your daily work. So first let's get a file to edit. So working in the TMP directory, let's get a copy of etc. password and bring it over here. And then in order to work on it, I just have to say Emacs pass and the name of the file. Now the default font here is a little small, so I'll play a trick and hit control and the middle button of the mouse to control the size of the font. And then I'll make the window a little bigger. Okay, so we've done that. Now suppose I want to look for a certain string, let's say FTP. I would hit control S and type in the very bottom window, the very bottom line here, FTP, so you can see down here. And you'll see it brought me to FTP. I'll go back to the beginning of the line by hitting control A. And then let's say I want to change all occurrences of the string FTP to something else. I hit escape, percent mark, and then I'll say FTP again in the bottom line. And then let's just do it backwards in capitals, PTF. And you see I hit space, it does the first one. Space, it does the second one. Space, it does the third one. If I had hit an exclamation point, it would have done all of them in the entire file. Suppose I want to remove a, a line, I can just hit Control K, and it's gone. Control K, it's gone again. Suppose I want to remove a range of lines, I hit Control Space, and then I go down a few lines uh, with either the arrow key or Control N, I hit Control W, and they're gone. If I want to move them further on in the file, I go down a few lines and I hit Control Y for yank and they're back in there. One nice thing I can do with Emacs is open up multiple windows at the same time. So let me hit Control X, 2, and now I've got two windows. And I can switch to the bottom window by hitting Control X, O for other. And then I hit Control X, F, I can put a different file in that buffer. So let's say I put in etc group. Okay. And once again, I'll make the font a little bigger by hitting Control and the middle button on the mouse. Okay, And you'll notice the bottom line is actually uh, right protected, so I can't really delete anything because it belongs to root. If I try to delete this line, it won't let me do it. It says buffer is read only. But in general, I, if I had two files with the same permissions, I could cut and paste and go from one to the other. To get back to just one, I can do Control X1, and I have only this, but if I really wanted the other window, I can hit Control XB, and I'm back in the password file. If I want to rewrite it, uh, I can hit Control XW, Control X, Control W, and that would let me write it as a different name, so I'll say PASWD revised, and it's there. If I want to terminate the program, I say Control X S to make sure things have been saved, and then Control X C, and I'm done. So you can see we use the Control key quite a bit in Emacs. The position most keyboards put it in these days is a little unnatural, all the way at the bottom left or right. So veteran Emacs users tend to remap the keyboard so that the caps lock key also works as control. So that's some of the basic operations you would do in day-to-day -day use of Emacs.